Okay, today we start with a pure pi key. So in this way, if the adjacent center is on the top. Before we start with a tutorial, we have to know a finger trick that we will use in some cases. It's this one. Little b, little b prime, little b2, little b2 prime. We use the middle finger to do it. Okay, now we can start with a tutorial. The first one is the most obvious, the pure pi case. All it's solved on this cube, except for the corners. For this case, there are two ways to solve it. The first one that I will show is that most of PA people use. It goes like this. We start here and do two sledges. One, two, and it's solved. And the other one that can also be used, it goes like this. We start now here and do two hedges. One, two, and it's off. You can choose what you think is more most comfortable for you. Let's do the next case. The pure pi case plus h perm. So we recognize that these two centers are adjacent and these two one also. Easy. For, for this case there are two ways to solve it. I will show you first the arc that I use. It goes like this. We start here and do this arc. The big r prime, little r prime. Big r prime, little r prime. Big P, the big R R prime, big B prime, little R prime, and it's soft. And the other arc that can also be used, it goes like this. We start now here and do this arc. La little R, big B, big R, big B prime, little R, big R little r, big r, and it's off. It's ju just the inverse of the previous one. So again, you can choose the arc that you think is comfortable for you. Okay, let's do the next cases. The pure pi case plus z perm. There are two cases. The first one, we recognize that we have two swap centers on the front and another two on the back and the other case we recognize that we have the two swap centers on the laterals so yes we can also recognize that these two centers can be swapped we start first with a case that these two centers can can be swapped so it goes like this we start here and the L goes like this little r prime big r prime little r big b Big R, big B prime, big R prime, little R prime, big R, little R, and it's solved. And for this case, that these two centers can't be swapped, we start here, and the R goes like this big R, little R, big R prime, little R prime. Z prime, le little r prime, big r, le le little r, z, big r, le le little r prime, big r prime, uh, and it's soft. For this one, I will show you another arc that I use nowadays. So it goes like this: we start now here. And the arc goes like this. The big R, the little R, big R prime, little B prime, the little R prime, little B, little R, big R, the little R prime, big R prime, and it's off. This one I discovered on myself, and yes, it's just the mirror of a previous case. So the that have uh, centers swapped. 
So yes, Let, let's uh, do the next cases. The pure pi case plus u perm. There are eight cases, and we recognize all of these cases by the block, which can be in different positions. We start first with the block on the front left. There are two cases, and yes, all of these groups that I will show will have two cases in each one. Okay, let's start with the first case, with the block on the front left again. The first case we recognize that the, the, this center is a posit, uh, is a adjacent of a block, and that the, the, this one it isn't. We can also recognize that the, this center has to go there. Okay, for the for first one, if a center is uh, adjacent to, to the block, we start it here and do this arc. Big B, little r prime, and do here the hedge case. And uh, do it again from the beginning, but doing the first two moves, big B, little R prime, and it's off. For this one, I will show you uh, another algebra that I use. So yeah, yes, it, it, it's the, the same as the previous case, but uh, starting a little different. So we start now here. And the L goes like this. Le little r, z2, little r prime. And do here the hedge case and the last two moves. La la like the previous case. So the hedge and the last two moves. Big B and the little r prime. And it's soft. And for this case, if the center isn't adjacent to the block, the center has to go there. We start here and do this arc. Little b, big R. And do here the sledge case. And we do it from the beginning. But uh, they're doing only the two moves. So little b, big R. And it's soft. Let's do the next cases. In the next two cases, the block is now on the back row right. Okay, and the difference between these two is that the, this one, the centers are not adjacent. And we can also recognize that this center has to go there. And for the other one, the centers are adjacent. Okay, and we can also recognize that the, this center has to go there, in the opposite side. Okay, so for the first one, if the centers are not adjacent, the center has to go there. We start here and do this arc. Le little r, big B prime. And we do here the sledge case. And do it again from the beginning, but doing the first two moves. Little r, big B prime, and it's soft. And for the other one, if uh, centers are adjacent, this center has to go there. We start here and do this arc. Le, le little b prime, big R, z2. And we do here the hedge case. And here we have to know the last two moves. In this case are these ones. Big R prime, z prime, little r. And it's off. These cases are just these inverse uh, of a pre previous case file that I have shown. Okay, let's do the next cases. In the next two cases, the block is now on the front right. Okay, and the difference between the, these two cases is that this one, the center is adjacent to, to the block. And the other one is that it isn't. We can also recognize that the, these two centers are adjacent and this center has to go there, in the opposite side. Okay, so for the first one, if the center is adjacent to, to the block, we start here and do this arc. Little r, big r prime, little r. 
little b b prime big b prime big up little r prime big r and let's solve and for the next case if the uh, this center is an adjacent to the block these two centers are adjacent and this center has to go there we start here and do this arc big r little r prime big r z prime little r prime big r prime little r big b big r prime and it's solved let's do the last cases finally the block is on the back left in the la last two cases and the difference between these two is that this one, these two centers are not adjacent, so the, this center is adjacent to the block. And the uh, other case, the, these two centers are adjacent. This center has to go there, in the opposite side. So for the first one, if these two centers are not uh, adjacent, this center is adjacent to, to the block. We start here and do this arc. Big R prime, little r, big R prime. Big B, little b. L little r prime, big R, little r prime. And it's solved. And for this one, if these two centers are adjacent, the, this center has to go there, in the opposite side. We start now here, and the R goes like this. Big B, little r prime, big r prime, little r, z2, big r, little r prime, big r prime, z prime, little r, and it's solved. For this one I will show you another arc that I use nowadays. It goes like this. We start now here and do this arc. La little r prime, big R, little r prime. Big B, big R, big B prime. Little r prime, big R. And it's solved. These cases are just the mirror of the previous one that I have shown. Okay, and that's uh, all to show about the pure pie case tutorial. Later there will be the pure pie case ca category 1. So there will be two patterns. The first one there that I will show where will be the center on, on the right. So yes, uh, that's the next video that I will show. So see you there. Bye.